The Lord said, Go ye into all the world, and be my witnesses. After 26 hours of flying, we landed in South Africa. To me, this is the highlight of an active Gideon, being involved in an international scripture blitz. The country of Lesotho is very poor. Most houses do not have electricity nor indoor plumbing. Most houses are not built for the cold weather and often it goes below freezing. Their climate is a lot like ours. The working people only make between $550 a year to $1,200 a year. Most do not have a car, so they have to walk wherever they go. The workday is approximately 12 hours long. The government is a parliamentary constitutional monarchy with just over 2 million people, which is the estimated population. It can be very difficult to cross into their borders because South Africa surrounds the country. <laughs> This is Clovis. He had just moved into his new home. He wanted to show it to me. He had shown me his kitchen where they boil the water and store it in 30 gallon drum in the corner. Clovis drank three large glasses while we were there and I said, you are really thirsty, aren't you? He said, not really. He says, my belly is empty and that way I don't have to eat so much food. <laughs> We would leave our hotel about 6 o'clock every morning to venture out for about two hours to go to our first distribution at a school. When we were there, the children would be out in the courtyard waiting for us. The headmaster allowed us to talk to the children. We told the children who we were and why we were there. We also told them how important they were to the future of their country. However, they needed a good foundation, and that foundation was Jesus Christ, and we were there to give them God's word. Bible comes alive. The cattle of a thousand hills are mine. The mind goes so fast you don't even remember the books where they are mentioned. You look again to see the sheep across the hillside with their shepherd. Jesus told Peter repeatedly, Feed my sheep. My new friend Peter and I were driving on a land without road. To locate to feed God's children, the Lesotho children. They are very hungry both physically and spiritually. They seem to know that God is important and want to know more about him. Bible verses go on. They fly through your head so fast. Romans 10, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the verse goes on. How will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him if they have never heard? With the same breath, I would wonder. I could have stayed home and just gave the money to buy more testaments. But then you tell yourself, God made this possible for you to come and serve his people, the children of the Suto. The harvest is great, but the labors are few. And the verses go on. And how shall they preach except they be sent? How beautiful are the feet of them who preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Our team was made up of eight Americans and one from England and one from Australia, eight from South Africa and ten local Lesotho Gideons. We divided into 10 teams, which consisted of a local Gideon as the interpreter, a driver, and a visiting Gideon.
vehicle for transportation was a 4x4. However, many of the Lesotho Gideons did not own a vehicle, so the call went out from Nashville to the Gideons of South Africa to help provide a 4x4 for the ISB. So they added another 50,000 testaments for us to give out. You must understand that most of the schools we had to visit did not have a road leading into the school. We had to drive for miles over and through fields and small streams and waterbeds. Lady Headmaster looked in disbelief at us. She said, How did you find us? No one ever comes out here. Who are you? I must tell you, we traveled about an hour off a paved road to find this school. They all welcome you with a smile when you tell them you brought them God's written word and would like it given to the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th graders of their school. Roads are bumpy and sometimes the road or path we travel to find Jesus. These paths are dusty, uneven, and the walk is miles and miles each day for these precious little children and their teachers. God has blessed America with so much, so much more than anyone else, and I truly believe that he is watching you and I that we will do what we can with the blessings he has given us. Nothing is impossible when we put our trust in God. Challenge If it wasn't for God's people who gave sacrificially to this ministry, I wouldn't be here. I know God knows all of our circumstances and he blesses us for what we do for his kingdom and his people and even the people that have just received his holy word. God is love. You can see the love and appreciation on their faces as they smile and cup open their two hands to receive their own testament. 